when we are playing some of our board games. But do you know how to tell time? Inventors created new time measuring machines called clocks. What time is it? Here, take a look. Hmm, I'm not sure. Don't worry, Alina, because today we are going to learn how to read time and all about clocks. Welcome to Alex Kids Fun, guys. But before we learn how to tell time, let's learn a bit more about clocks. Clocks are some of the human's oldest invention. But before that, people looked at the sun to predict time. People relied on the sun's motion to track the time. The earliest farmers did not need to know the exact times of day or night. They woke at sunrise working in the daylight and they fell asleep around sunset. People figured out that a full day is 24 hours long. People then put the sun to work measuring time. Shadows cast by the sun change as the day goes on. People learned to use a blade shaped like a triangle to make a shadow. The shadow pointed in a different direction throughout the day. Marks where it pointed told the time. This clock is called a sundial. What about this? Yes, you're right, Alina. We use it to keep track of time when we are playing some of our board games. Around the 1300s, a new timekeeping method was created. It was the hourglass. Sailors used it to keep track of time on ships because sundials did not work well. Hourglass or sand glasses or sand clocks were used in a wide range of applications. At sea, in churches, in cooking, and in different industries. Around the same time, inventors created new time measuring machines called clocks. Towers had bells with a clock inside. The machine rang the bell on each hour. The bell called people to church and meetings. Clocks got better with time. People all around the world used the same time measuring units of hours, minutes, and seconds. Hours on the clock were split into 60 minutes. Minutes were split into 60 seconds. So 60 minutes makes one hour, and 60 seconds makes one minute. Clocks are everywhere around us. You have them at home, at school, at offices, everywhere. But do you know how to tell time? Don't worry guys, we've got you covered. Watch till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can tell time. Nowadays, there are two types of clocks that show time, analog and digital clocks. Digital clocks show us the time using numbers. It is very easy to use a digital clock. They show the numbers separated by column. The number on the left side shows the hour. The number on the right side shows the minutes. What time is it on this clock, guys? It's 8.07 or 7 minutes past 8. Great job! What about on this clock? It's 6.59. What about now? It is 7 o'clock. Great job on the digital clocks, guys. Let's have a look at the analog clocks. Clocks have faces with the numbers from 1 to 12. They also have two hands. The short hand is the hour hand, and the long hand is the minute hand. So this one is the hour hand, and this one is the minute hand. They sometimes have a third hand, which is the second hand. Tell the hour, look where the hour hand is pointing. To tell the minute, look where the minute hand is pointing. Ah, that's so easy. But wait, before you start telling time, Here's a trick with the minute hand. Every number is a five minute interval. It's easy to remember because on your hand there's five fingers. Let's take a look. Our green hand on this clock is the long hand, so it's the minute hand. 
12 is zero minutes, then five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, and zero again. Let's practice some time telling, guys. What time is it? One o'clock. Great job. Let's do another one. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Awesome. Let's do one more. What time is it? Five o'clock. Great. We have a couple questions for you guys. What time do you have breakfast? What time do you watch YouTube? Before we practice minutes, let's remember the minute trick. Let's practice minutes again. Right now, we're at zero minutes. Now, we're at 15 minutes. Now, we're at 30 minutes. Now, we're at 45 minutes. And now, we're back at zero minutes. Let's practice time on a real clock. What time is it now? It's 10.10, 10, 10 minutes past 10. Great job. What time is it now? 10.15. Great job, guys. Look at this clock, guys. It's not exactly 11.55. It's 11.54 or six minutes to 12. Look at this clock, guys. When the hour hand is between two numbers, the hour is the earlier number. So it is 5.35. Look at this clock, guys. The hour hand is in between seven and eight. Remember, that means the hour will be the earlier number, which is seven. The minute is about 23, so it's about 7.23. You got it, guys. Now all you need is a little bit of practice and you'll be able to tell time on all the clocks. Sometimes analog clocks use Roman numerals instead of numbers. But don't worry, guys, we will cover that in another video. Now you know how to tell time on a digital clock and most importantly on an analog clock. Please like and subscribe. Bye! Bye!